Good morning, everyone. This is Andrea Summers, Miss Immigration. And I just wanted to uh, share with you something that happened on Monday. At, um, some of you have uh, seen the video about my sister's uh, situation about buying a house and how the, their previous lender was unable to uh, or unwilling to cooperate with uh, their uh, immigration status right now. Okay, just to update you, if this is the first time you watch the video, they are in uh, the process of getting their green card. So that way they are, they don't have a visa, they don't have a green card yet. So the lender was just not cooperating. So I know some of you are in the same situation, so just watch out. So anyway, so on Monday we had a closing. Uh, we were able to, um, they were selling their house first. So we had that closing on Monday. And uh, so it was the title company, it was at the title company, so it's the, the closer, who is the person from the title company, then the other, the realtor representing the buyer, the person that bought my sister's house, and then there's the lender of the buyer, and there were my sister and her husband, who are the sellers, and then me, I represent the sellers. So they're all, all of the parties were um, international immigrants, but the buyer, she was from here, she was from the U.S., and uh, so there was a person from Vietnam, from Mexico, El Salvador, and Colombia. So we were talking about the the, the, the lender that my sister had, and we just and, and then um, we just just telling the story. And the funny thing that happened, and I'm sure all of you will, can relate, is that when we uh, when the lender, my sister's lender, previous lender, uh, they just have no idea what a visa is, obviously, and what it takes to get a visa. So he was just, he, he called, he contacted my sister and my uh, sister's husband to let them know that, hey, you know what, we can, con we can continue the process of getting the loan if, only if, you can just call the INA, the immigration office, just call them and tell them, hey, uh, could you send me, could you fax me a copy, could you fax me or send me an email, visa please so I can put it on the file so it's just very simple just call the immigration office and just for them to send you a visa so I can put it on the paperwork and we can move forward so of course at the title company we all laughed um, the person from the US the buyer she had no clue what we were laughing about and uh, so my sister just answered I've been it's been 15 years and that's what I've, I've been trying to get an actual status which well they're looking for the residency but um, people just don't get, people don't understand what immigrants go through just to be able to uh, get visas or change their status. So it was just a funny situation that only us um, understand what, how uh, the immigration process works. That is just, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it does not take a phone call, that's for sure. Phone calls, hey, send me a visa, it's just not possible. So I just want to update you on that. We're still uh, closing, hopefully, in a couple of weeks, and um, I will let you know when that happens. So that way, um, the, some of you that are in the same situation, in the process of getting the green card, then you'll be able to um, go ahead and purchase a house if that's what you want. Thank you for watching. This is Andrea Summers, Miss Immigration. Have a great day.